Hey YouTube, how you doing? I haven't talked to you guys in a couple of months now, but uh, first thing I want to do is thank my donor for sending me some new glasses. So thank you for giving me the eyes, the, you know, the, the vision, the gift of sight. So very good. Thank you. God bless you. Appreciate. Um, wanted to cover a couple of things here real quick, and I really don't know what to make of it. So some of you guys that are a little more tech savvy than me, maybe I can get some input from you. But I've been uh, hanging around this channel a little bit called Rap and News, and the brother seems to be okay um, in some areas. But I, I got uh, some concerns, and I'm I'm not really sure what to make out of it. Um, he posted this video, and um, he's talking about Mothership Fleet have arrived, described in Ezekiel, you know, chapter one, four, uh, through twenty-eight uh, in the Bible. And uh, he basically says in the video that, you know, if these guys land in his backyard, he's going to jump right on the ship. And I went, wait, no, 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 no. So I, I posted this this comment um, 23 hours ago. And it says, uh, I'd be careful about jumping on some UFOs slash ship, etc. I've researched this stuff for as many years as you have, if not longer, and then consensus is among those in the knows that they ain't our friends bro nor are they our space brothers and sisters like the Vatican is pushing just saying my Bible tells me that the tares are taken first and then I after that his wheat is gathered into his barn see Matthew 13 so again you might be very careful and uh, as more than likely you, you would end up as dinner instead of being invited to join in in dinner uh, think I'm kidding think you can still learn something if so look up the following video and watch it it's titled QCAST semicolon aliens and fallen angels dash the great deception I'd provide a link but uh, in this comment but uh, if I send the link it, it'll go to spam that said, I'm trying not to bust your bubble, bro. I'm trying to save your life. Take it or leave it. But choose wisely. Oh, and by the way, they are already here walking among us as hundreds and thousands of kids uh, go missing and are eaten every year. Beyond that, world government have been in bed with them since practically the beginning. So again, please watch the video. Please. See here. Please. I'm begging him. And I got 17 likes on it. Okay, now where I'm trying to go here is uh, this is on my Yahoo uh, browser, and then uh, I got one. I, I pulled it up on my Google browser on a different screen name. My comment is gone, gone, gone with the wind, not there. Okay, now you know, and the guy had written me. And he had told me, you know, that, that he was glad to hear from me and was hoping I would be posting more on his channel. Matter of fact, he says, hey, uh, hey, I was check thinking about you minutes before you wrote. Incredible. I was saying to myself, I hope that guy comes back after I mistook you for a scoffer. I just had, I just have to get your humor. God bless you. Okay, so, okay, we're getting along good. I made a comment. People are digging it. They're, they're agreeing with me. And we're cautioning my bro here, Rap, you know, don't be jumping on those spaceships, okay? Because I've been searching this for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, you got to be really, really, really careful about that. And, yes, I have seen them. I've seen two different kinds, light-based and uh, I would say metal-based. And I've seen seen them multiple times up close, but I'm not. That's not what this video is about. All right, so uh, getting back to the next thing. Then he comes out with this uh, this other video called "Proof Israel is a False Nation," and he asked for comments, and I was the first one to comment on it way down here, and. Um, at least I thought I was, because I didn't. I don't remember seeing anything out there. But anyway, 40 minutes ago, it's showing. I said, "Hmm, what do I think?" Well, 
and love, I suggest that you watch the following video for starters, as space is not is too limited here. See the documentary Black Hebrew Israelites Debunked Mirrored. Okay? And here's a copy of it right here. And basically what this is about is this big thing going on these days. The people are running around saying Jesus was black, Jesus is black, Moses was black, the Pharaohs are black, everybody's black, the world's black, and all you Gentile white folks are gonna you're white devils and you're gonna burn in hell and all that. Now this guy's not that extreme, okay? But um you know, he, he is of the black Jesus, you know, mentality thing. So, um, here's a little copy. You know, here's just a snippet of this video I wanted to play really quick to prove, you know, not all Egyptians were black and not, Moses wasn't black and all that. So, here it is here really quick. The 13th century B.C. Egyptian pharaoh, Ramses II, reigned during the 19th dynasty. His preserved mummified corpse shows he was not a Negro. As Egyptologist Frank Yerko notes, he is a typical northern Egyptian. He came from the northeasternmost known of Egypt. He had fine, wavy hair, a prominent hooked nose, and moderately thin lips, end quote. In fact, the mummy of Ramses II shows he had straight, ginger hair. These are not Negro features. We also have the mummy of Thutmose IV, who reigned from 1419 to 1386 BC. He had straight long hair, untypical of ancient and modern Negroes. Now, fake black Israelites often falsely claim the Egyptian queen Kie was Negro, based on an ancient sculpture of her head, which they interpret to have an afro. However, that is not an afro, but instead just a kerchief headdress, known as a kot, K-H-A-T. We know this for a fact because we have the actual mummy of this queen Kie, and in reality, she had long, straight hair, and facial features untypical of Negroes. For example, Okay, so that's just a little short clip of that. So basically, you know, these guys are trying to rewrite history and they're trying to say, you know, the, the Jews in Israel are not real Jews, they're fake Jews. And there are some fake Jews there. I mean, anybody has been around the block know that there are some fake Jews there, but also some real Jews there. Um, but blacks are not the real Jews. So um, I, I posted this comment and I suggested that... Um, you know, that he go check out the video. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Oh, this, on this, this documentary right here. And, um, you know, I noticed that it wasn't showing up. Okay, because I looked at, checked it on another browser. So then I posted it again. Looks like my requested uh, comment, because he did ask for my comment. Um isn't showing up. I'll try again. So I did it again. All right. So, you know, you can see it showing up here on Firefox, but when you go over here on uh, Google, it's not there. Okay. This is my comment is not there. Either one of them. So my question is, what do you guys think? Is this guy ghost blocking me? Is he playing games with my head? what exactly is going on i mean because to be honest i'm really sick and tired you know people that you know claim to be uh you know believers and, and you know like this guy says all is going to burn hell all is going to burn hell you know so but you know next thing you know my videos uh, or my comments are removed and everything else now i you know, i'm not convicting the guy i, I i'm not sure I'm not sure exactly what's happening. I need your input. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to send him. I've already got this typed up. I said, hey, bro, are you blocking my comments now? If so, why? I see some of my comments are being removed, and I can't post to your channel anymore. In other words, I, I, you know, I can post, but they just don't show cause, and verify that by looking in a different browser. Here it is. I'm sending it. Is I have to end up doing a follow-up. So, wrap the news. I'm not sure if wrap the news is a straight arrow, but we're going to find out. So, beyond that, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. And, um, you know, you, you guys that are Christians, would you please, 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 please do me a big favor 
can try and help people that are teaching false doctrine wake up because it's clear as day this lady that's supposed to be black according to the black Hebrews is not black I mean she's she looks, looks almost Caucasian you know look at her hair that, that's not black hair okay so what I'm seeing is I'm seeing an enemy come against us big time they're united and uh, the church is divided and so I'm spending most of my time these days um, trying to resolve the division this is a Google thing that I, I came up you know I came up with and uh, you know to ch double check my comment and my comment is still on Google but again it's not showing up as a Google Plus here in Yahoo but it's not showing up on Google now I don't know if it's been purged or whatever but um, you know anyway getting off track but um, one more quick thing one more quick thing but like I was saying I'm doing a, I'm taking a lot of time uh, trying to stop the division and here's another example of what I'm talking about hang with me I'm almost done okay and I've, there's, there's a lot of uh, comments on this but a lot of my comments were already removed so I made a uh, talk about this now this is another rap the news video he's talking about the event that's happening now he thinks it's going down right now and um, I think it's I think we're getting pretty close to something heavy going on but I don't think it's going down right now but we are again getting close but but th this person here is is another like you know Jesus is black and you know it seems like you know oh and and they definitely don't think that that the apostle paul was a legitimate apostle which is just mind blowing i pointed out the fact that you know um you know paul wrote about half the new testament and and i laid it all out i mean this is what i'm doing okay guys um, trying to wake people up. I, I laid it all out. Scripture versus the whole nine yards. Okay? And um, so hang on. Hang in there. And then they, she came back or they came back with something. And I, and I just said, hey, man, all you're talking about is la, 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 la. It's about grace. It's about grace. It's, you know, there's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither male nor female. There's neither bond nor free. Um, that's uh, Galatians 3.28. Because we're all... Uh, if we're in Christ, we're all heirs of the promise, and we're all Abraham's seed. And um, here's another that says the same thing again in Colossians 3, uh, 11. There's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither circumcised, which means Jewish, or uncircumcised, which means uh, Gentiles. So, you know, man, we have to stop the racism, and I need your help. Because, you know, I'm doing all I can do. And um, then I end up getting, uh, you know, ghost banned or my comments removed or, or, or God only knows what's happening. But one final comment. Um, after I posted all that information to this person, um, she made it, or they made a good comment. And this is this is where I need you to really think about this and tell me if this is possible she said someone uh, they said uh, someone once told me the internet has some level of artificial intelligence attached to it I'm starting to believe it I wrote a couple of times now responses that I thought you really would have to think about but each time it self deleted before I sent it it was not coincidence is that wild is that crazy wild so then I said now that's interesting I mean really interesting I think you might be onto something here it sure would answer a lot of questions one thing that I have noticed is the system clearly wants us 
to all be divided. I just had a two-hour conversation with a friend of mine, and I gave multiple examples of same. That said, yet, it seems obvious that the enemy and or our enemies are very unified. I don't believe that this is by accident. I am reminded of Freemason Albert Pike's letter in which he clearly laid out <clears throat> said plan for this type of division. It sure seems that his or her plan is in play. Wishing you peace and love, come out. So there it is. I'm sorry if the video went too long. I didn't mean for it to, but, but you know, I don't know what to think. I don't know if rap is burying my stuff because I'm, you know, you know, bucking his belief in UFOs because he's encouraging people to get on, you know, and I can't do that. I, I can't sit still and, and not say something, okay? If you watch the video that I recommended in the QCAST video, Angels, or Fallen Angels, Angels and Fallen Angels, whatever it was, um, it's mind-blowing. It's about an hour long, but it's well, well, well worth your time, and it talks about the, t the days that we're living in. It's spooky, 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 but you need to know it. Don't bury your head in the sand. Things are happening. Rap is right about that. So uh, it, it's getting wild, folks. So love you. And again, thank you for my donor for the glasses. You, you helped me so much. And, um, you know, if I can do anything at all for you guys, l please let me know. I'm here. I'm here for you. Okay. Take care. God bless you. And uh, Kev out now. Stay close to Jesus. Very important.